we have more information seemingly on a Nintendo Direct this week. And look, it's been a bit of an interesting ride getting to this Nintendo Direct, right? We've had all these updates from insiders that have made us a little nervous, but also maybe not that excited, but then maybe really excited for next month. We have Necro Filippo Lima from Universal Nintendo coming out and saying, hey, there's going to be a Nintendo Direct this week on February 15th. All right, cool. That's this Thursday. Either announce tomorrow or a shadow drop. Naturally, we don't know. Fine. Then we have Nate the Hate, a well-known Nintendo insider, going on different podcasts and being like, hey, this is going to be a partner showcase. And we're like, oh, man, a partner showcase. We really don't know a lot of stuff for Switch this year. Like, man, that really kind of sucks. But whatever. I guess we can give up on seeing Metroid Prime 4. Uh, <sighs> what a what, what that's just lame. But then, well, they give us this hope where both of those same sources say, hey, Nintendo Switch 2 is being revealed in March. And things seem to be lining up in that way. Now, Nintendo themselves has already been supporting this idea that we might not get a general direct. One, they gave us the date for the Splatoon 3 DLC side order. They gave us that last month. They've been giving us tons of trailers for the Mario plus Donkey Kong, which does release this upcoming Friday. So yeah, they've even been doing other ads for other games they have coming this year. Now today they ended up dropping a near five minute showcase of the Splatoon 3 DLC side order, which yes, that's a really big deal. I'm not going to sit here and pretend it's not. It is also something that you figured would be in a direct, a five minute showcase of what exactly this DLC is. By the way, the DLC looks incredible. As a Splatoon fan, I'm pretty excited for this DLC, but that's not it. Now, if you guys remember, we have a leaker reliability chart, and at the very top of that chart is an insider known as Pioro. Pioro has a 100% track record. That's why he's in the category practically Nintendo. And he responded to someone on Twitter to uh, yesterday that added a lot of context for this being a partner direct this week. Let's take a look. So you have Bart Klotz going, are we going to have a partner showcase? And he adds Pioro. Pioro responds and says, I'm not aware of any eminent first party announcements at the moment. So while you say it at the moment, of course, things can change. Reality is he doesn't know of anything being announced by Nintendo, at least this week, right? Eminent means almost immediately, like happening very soon. So yeah, he's not aware of anything this week. And with his track record, that would suggest, well, Nintendo doesn't have any brand new first party games to announce this week, which lends you to believe it's not a general direct, but instead a partner showcase. Now, this assumes we get a partner showcase at all. There's also the possibility we just don't get a direct, right? Until it's announced, until it happens, we could just not get a direct. Now, I'm of two mindsets here. We're either going to get a direct, and it's going to be a partner showcase, or we're not. Both of these things lend credence to my second belief, and that is Switch 2 will be revealed in March. Look, if there's no general direct this month, and again, Bioro said the inside track on the last few directs, so if there's no... General Direct this month. There's no Nintendo Direct Mini. It is a partner showcase or nothing. The only way this even makes sense to me, because remember, Mario vs. Donkey Kong comes out this week. That leaves, what, some DLC that they just dropped their big video for. That leaves Princess Peach Showtime next month. And then a couple of games that we don't even know release dates for. And they're literally just like HD ports. You know, Thousand Year Door and Luigi's Mansion 2. And look... I'm excited, but also I've already played and beat those games. So where's the new for me? Like if you're someone who has been a Nintendo fan this whole time, Princess Peach Showtime is the only new experience for us this year besides the Splatoon 3 DLC. That is rough. That's that, that's just very rough. So Switch 2 then, right? It's obvious they could do a partner showcase this month and just do a full general direct next month. That is obviously something Nintendo can do. They have done March directs before, very, very rarely. Most notably, the last time was when they released the Nintendo Switch. So I am of mind that whether there's a direct this week or not, partner showcase, it's going to end up meaning that Switch 2 is being revealed next month. I don't even know that I need insiders to tell me it's going to be revealed next month. To come to that conclusion, 
It just makes too much sense because if they're not going to unload the cannon a little bit here, give us something for Switch, it has to be because they're literally holding all of their cards for the Switch to reveal. Some people might panic, by the way. There's one game in particular that is supposed to become to Switch. It's been announced for Switch that we haven't seen. That game is Metroid Prime 4. And I know so many of you are growing impatient, waiting and waiting and waiting. But reality is that they might be doing a cross-gen release. Or it could be even a Switch 2 exclusive. I think if it's exclusive to Switch 2, there's going to be a lot of you that are mad. Uh, if it's a cross-gen release, I think most of you will be okay with that. The question is, are they going to release on one platform first, then the other? Like, is it going to be a Twilight Princess situation, right? It came to Wii first and then came to GameCube a month later. Or will it be more like Breath of the Wild? Comes out the same day on both platforms. I hope that's probably, I hope that's likely the case. I, I guess we don't really know because we don't know anything about this game other than that it exists and it's still listed as TBD or TBA, or what happened? No, TBD. To be determined on Nintendo's most recent software list when it comes to upcoming releases. So that is a concerning thing, though. If you are a Switch owner, I think you do have some concern. And I don't know how legit it is, but I can understand if there's some concern, Metroid Prime 4 may not be on Switch. I'm not saying it won't be, but the fact that they won't show it for Switch without revealing Switch 2 first... That, to me, is concerning at least. But we don't know. We, we, we got to let it come out. We got to let it be seen. We got to see what happens there. I just think that it's very interesting that we have pretty much every confirmation we can have without it being announced that this is going to be a partner direct or it's going to be nothing. And I want to throw one more thing out to you guys. I talked about this a little bit last night. Xbox has an event happening on Thursday, right, the 15th. They have a podcast with Phil Spencer and Sarah Bond going up at 2 p.m. Central Time. Very interesting timing. It's the future of Xbox podcast. And what I find fascinating about this is there's all these rumors that Hi-Fi Rush, like that's the really big one here for Microsoft, is going to be coming to Nintendo Switch, right? And also PlayStation 5, but, you know, right now we're focusing on Switch. There's a possibility that if this is a partner showcase, Hi-Fi Rush is one of the highlight games in that announcement. So this podcast might actually be timed for two possibilities to happen right after a Nintendo direct or to happen right before a Nintendo direct. And now I might say, well, why? Because obviously that announcement is an Xbox exclusive going multi-platform from one of their first party owned studios. This isn't a partner studio, right? Hi-Fi Rush was made by a studio owned wholly by Microsoft like Ori, they don't own the developers of Ori. They just own the IP. Well, they actually own the IP and they own the developer of Hi-Fi Rush. So it's kind of a big deal that that game is going to end up multi-platform. So wanting to address that immediately before it's announced or immediately after it's announced makes a lot of sense. So the Xbox uh, podcast, I don't think deconfirms anything for those out there. I think it's just, hey, Microsoft knows this announcement's about to happen. They obviously approved of it. They've been part of the direct planning. And, hey, they want to get right out there right when it happens so they can just be upfront and honest with all of their fans. So I actually think it also just supports a partner showcase. Um I don't know. All the evidence is going that way. All the evidence is going towards, man, if this is the case and all this evidence is true and it's a partner showcase and the way Nintendo's handling the marketing, Switch 2, revealed in March. Some people are seeing the 13th. I don't know. Everyone's making their bets on, on what day it's going to be in March. I don't know that I have a day yet. I, I'm going to wait till this partner direct happens and then I'll come back maybe next week. And uh, give a prediction on when I think Switch 2 is going to be announced. Remember, our podcast this week has been moved to the 15th as well. We wanted to make sure we were able to react to the Partner Showcase the day it happens. So, yes, we have our podcast tentatively scheduled for the 15th, not tomorrow night. Tomorrow night will just be a standard stream. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll catch you in the next video.